Hello and welcome to the first day in this can week where we talk exclusively about authors who didn't sign that fucking letter. Firstly, we're gonna start with Even This Page is White by Victoria, which I've been teasing for months. And we're finally here. This discussion is gonna be in two parts. First, I'm gonna talk about the collection, poetry collection, Even This Page is White, and then I'm gonna move on to why I love Vivek specifically, the chances I've had to meet her, being able to hear it in her voice. As per the title of the collection, Even This Page is White, this is about questioning whiteness. It is about naming white supremacy instead of how those things as dominant hegemonic powers get invisibilized, why we continuously talk about race in terms of the racialized other, in terms of the non-white, and how that normally gets centered. And this very vital um, discussion, idea, concept, you know what I mean, that Vivek is bringing forth is this is this was like the beginning of being involved in a larger conversation around that for me. Um, for me in an academic setting, which isn't like, um, in terms of naming other kinds of power that gets invisibilized um, within white supremacy. So for instance, naming masculinity instead of this constant focus on like femininity and then also naming the abuser when we talk about sexualized violence and it's not just violence against women, it's men's violence against women and then all the stuff within that as well. As well as naming heterosexuality as those are all very specifically bound up within white supremacy. And a function of the constant focus on race as non-white and the invisibilization of this, another thing that Vivek talks about is how it becomes the burden of people of color to deal with white supremacy and the power of white people to dismantle their own fucking system, our own fucking system, excuse me, um, is just like overlooked. Um, and there's a lot of discussion in this book about allyship, if that's even the uh, correct term to use. Um, there's a really great discussion um, with Vivek with her other white friends, um, which is like couched under the very specific idea that white people listen to white people and relate to white people. This collection really tackles the idea of like the well-meaning white person who has suffered as well and therefore can't be racist and it's like yeah, you can. White people, we have all internalized racial biases, whether or not we think we're explicitly racist or not. So by virtue of naming whiteness, and then how the text is formed in the book in terms of how it really just fucks with form, example A, um, and how it forces the reader to like engage and be confronted with things in terms of using devices like found poetry, this collection is inherently disruptive. There are just so many layers to its content and structure. It's like the onion of Canlet. Which is an analogy I'm sure she appreciates. <laughs> both conceptually and in its execution, this is one of, if not the best piece of art I have ever engaged with. I am just sitting here in this faux leather chair, just astounded. Like Vivek is out here making masterpieces and we're just supposed to be okay with it. What the fuck? I highly recommend that you also watch Jason's video on this. I also really recommend that you listen to uh, the episode of Cantlet, uh, which is a podcast about Canadian literature. The episode where Vivek's on, because uh, it's great. She's great. I, I could listen to her talk and her voice for an eternity. Um, but she talks a lot about her, like, the methodology behind uh, the book. Another reason why I loved this collection was so much is that I got to hear it in her own voice. After I read and made the video of She on the Mount, She on the Mountains, She of the Mountains uh, for Bye Buddy Read with Malin, um, she came out on her book tour for Even This Page is White. Before the event, I was getting ready, you know what I mean, to present this kind of a face. And instead of putting on setting spray, 
in order to set myself through the emotions, I sprayed my face with brush cleaner. So I was feeling a little bit off my game. I was so nervous to talk to her. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. Like I was like low key shaking. Met her. She was just like the loveliest person I've ever encountered. Like genuinely. Like she's just so goddamn lovely. And I think that's the reason I appreciate her work so much is that she is one of the first people I met specifically in terms of writing about uh, queerness and everything else who is just so gracious in her vulnerability um, and how important that is for me to access and to see in other people because being able to see other people be vulnerable in things is really helpful in healing and because she is just such a genuine person it like really it affected me a lot in a good way and like after that event I was on like a high for a day or two because like when you meet someone you admire in terms of their work and then they're like the loveliest person ever that's like so like affirming. <laughs> that's where I picked up even this Pages White was at that event where I got to meet her and I got to hear it in her own voice and hear the rhythm um, which was so important for me and really affected my reading experience of the book and then she came back to my city uh, with Ivan Coyote because they did a pretty good tour where I picked up Ivan's book which we're gonna be talking about in another can week um, and then Vivek has also come out with a children's book uh, called The Boy in the Bindi and it's beautiful and it is illustrated by Rajni Pereira if I say that correctly let me give you examples of its beauty and wonder boom one example and as per the back um, The Boy in the Bindi is a playful story by Vivek Shreya about a young boy's fascination with the dot on his mother's forehead. With his mom's help, the boy discovers that wearing a bindi allows him to joyfully explore and express his difference, and even a little spot can be meaningful and magical. And I also got to hear her read this as well at that door. And I was gonna buy it for my, uh, small cousin human, but, you know, in my family, I'm the gay cousin, more specifically the greedy bisexual. So I kept this one for myself, um, but I will hit that child up soon with this because it's great. So that was a long-winded but necessary discussion of Vivek Shreya, why I love her, as well as even this page is white. I'm going to link below her website, which has all of her work that she does, um, including merch, which I recommend. Um, as well as all of her writings in terms of articles that she's done as well, which are fantastic. Shout out to my half top knot situation for being the real MVP, as well as my bods bot. What up?